How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. Kathy Wood just sold all of her Bitcoin allocation. Now, she doesn't hold exactly Bitcoin, at least in their in their funds, but she sold all their GBTC, which is what I want to talk about today. Not spreading FUD. I want to walk through it, talk about whether it's bearish or bullish, because I have seen some very opposite sides of the coin takes. Uh, I've seen some very polarizing takes out there. So I want to talk about that, give you my honest opinion. If you don't mind, hit subscribe so that way you can see the videos just like this that I produce in the future. I made five videos yesterday, all that I, well, I only planned on making one or two, but then a lot more news came out. So all ones I felt like I really needed to make just to give you some information, some interesting things that were happening in the market. So if you want more of those, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification. While you're down there, there's a link to Marjex. This is a non-KYC, non-VPN needed exchange. So they don't ask a lot of your personal information. It's really easy to sign up. There you can deposit with that link underneath the video too. You can get a 20% deposit bonus that can go towards fees for the first couple of weeks. Also, it's powered by TradingView, which means that's really nice to chart on here as well. Uh, and you can use all different forms of collateral as well. So you can use USDC, you can use XRP, you can use uh, Solana for Bitcoin trades, for example. Now, we just got news. Over the last two days, Kathy Woods has reduced her exposure to Bitcoin by 100%. Barry Silver also abruptly resigned from Grayscale without reason. Wall Street clearly knows that the Bitcoin ETFs will be denied or result in selling of the news event. Now, this is not me saying this. This is another Twitter user, Whalewire, just in case you're just listening. They say, however, as always, crypto Twitter will fall victim to these schemes again by buying the top. Now, <laughs> A lot of us bought the top when Bitcoin was 20,000, then fell back down to 18,000. A lot of us bought the top when we originally went up to 30,000, then we went back down to 25,000. So I don't care about buying the top. I care about getting enough exposure and continuing to dollar cost average. But I do understand what he's saying. Like This could be a sign. Kathy Woods selling a stock isn't necessarily bullish, but there are some other takes on it as well. For example... Kathy Wood, ARK Invest, sold off their entire GBTC position today. Coming, This is coming from Bloomberg. Making strategic moves before spot Bitcoin ETF approvals? It could be. She wants to hold a BTC ETF rather than GBTC for her exposure in Bitcoin. Maybe she wants to buy spot, so she's clearing up some capital to go buy. Or she has insider info that the ETF will be rejected, which... Quinton says is very unlikely because this could result or make herself look very suspicious. And why would you even sell for that reason? Uh, especially if you're a long-term bull. I will say she has done interesting, suspicious things in the past. She sold a significant amount of Coinbase the day before they got sued. If I remember right, it was in the 700,000 share range. And then the very next day, she went back and bought about half of those shares back after it had dipped. Suspicious. Now, the question is, though, do they know something that we don't? What does this mean? Should we be getting out? Let me be clear on this, too. Barry Silbert resigned from Grayscale. I thought this seemed like more something that the SEC wanted him to do uh, because he is under a lawsuit now, I still believe, uh, from... SEC, I, I believe it was. Um, so it might just be that they want him distance away from Grayscale because it's a bad look. But why would Kathy Wood sell? Well, we covered some of the reasons here. Honestly, I'd love to see what she says on CNBC or if she's on some channel today to see if they ask her that question. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they're just getting ready to seed their ETF like if they want to seed it with a significant amount, they just sell all their uh, grayscale exposure. Of course, it will be a different asset, but if they can bring that into their new portfolios uh, or their, their existing portfolios, if they bring that new asset in there, they could just use all that money that they had from grayscale, uh, the GBTC trust, to just allocate towards that new asset that they own. I mean, why would they want to hold GBTC? Assuming everything is approved, why would they want to hold GBTC and give them the fees as opposed to just paying themselves the fees if they held their own asset? And 
it can bring more money in, right? If people see that there's a lot of AUM in Bitcoin in that trust or in those uh, portfolios, they would be more likely to buy themselves than if there's a half a million dollars or a million dollars, right? So it just makes sense that they would buy their own uh, product, but it's it's a weird timing right ahead of the ETF news. Like you would think that they would want exposure just in case the the asset rallies away from them and then they just sell like the day of or the day before they get approved. Maybe they know something we don't. Maybe they know that it's gonna be approved today or tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure, but at this point, I'm not trading my long-term belief in Bitcoin because Kathy Wood reduced her exposure to a Bitcoin proxy. I mean, that would be nuts. Think about that. Kathy Wood sells 20 stocks a day. She has all different reasons for it. We can also look at other people. They're still buying. Like just yesterday, I covered this whale bought 8,000 Bitcoin in one day. And actually over six hours. So there are people still buying up like crazy. We had news yesterday that Michael Saylor may be looking to buy billions more Bitcoin to have another offering of shares or debt um, and go out and buy even more Bitcoin. They announced that they bought, what was that? 16,000 Bitcoin yesterday, 17,000. So the fact is whales are still going to be buying. Whales are still buying just because the price hasn't really moved a ton over the last couple of weeks doesn't necessarily mean that we're in this bearish situation. I've talked about this. I had someone ask though yesterday, like, why isn't price moving if all this bullish news is coming out? And I've covered that in a video. I've talked about how something doesn't add up and that's how people feel. Like, why is all this bullish news coming out and we're just trending sideways? Keep in mind, we had a massive rally before this. So some consolidation is healthy. It doesn't explain why we're consolidating, but in my opinion, what's happening there is we have a lot of people buying OTC, which means that it doesn't force the price up, but it does swallow up Bitcoin supply. So I am still bullish on Bitcoin. I'm not getting worried because Kathy Wood sold the position uh, a couple of days ahead of some uh, new piece of news. Now, if they got rejected, if all the ETFs got rejected, I'd be surprised. I think it's more likely that they get approved, but I wouldn't be like, I wouldn't be super surprised. I mean, there's a possibility of it, maybe one to 5%, maybe 10% chance of that happening. And in that case, yeah, we could fall down for a short period of time. And then people will come back in and realize that the price is falling down ahead of the Bitcoin having ahead of what probably will be the ETF approval, even if it gets pushed back ahead of the Fed cutting rates. So I'm not selling I'm not looking to sell short term and time it to get back in at 38 or something like that. Now, if we fall down, I will continue to add exposure. I just think that's the best way about it, uh, best way to do it. And if you want to talk about Kathy Wood selling GBTC, should we also talk about uh, BlackRock seeding their ETF with $10 million worth of Bitcoin and saying they're going to do it January 3? Like you can look at both ways that some people are buying, some people are selling. So let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Again, you can check out Marjex if you want to make some trades ahead of this ETF uh, decision. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.